Today, let's discuss Abeka, fourth grade science, and Master Books, God's Design for Life. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back to my channel. On my channel, we talk about all things fourth grade homeschool and just enjoying this wonderful ride that we're on. Um, today, I want to talk about the differences and similarities between Master Books, God's Design for Life, and the fourth grade Abeka science curriculum. Now, um, first of all, I guess one of the easiest things to say is this is God's Design for Life. It's your student textbook and you have your teacher's manual. This is Abeka's science curriculum. <laughs> Quite a bit more. That is one big difference there, the, just the volume of materials that you have for master books versus for a back. For the textbook, for the science textbook, you have the textbook, you have the activity book, you have the activity book answer sheet, you have the text answer key, you have the tests and quizzes, and then you have your tests and quizzes answer key. For the health portion, you'll have the health textbook, the health text answer key, the tests and quizzes, and then the tests and quizzes answer key. In addition to all of that, you will have the science and health um, teacher's manual. So this is your lesson plans. This is what for each lesson what you're supposed to do and this lays everything out extremely well. Master books you have the teaching assignments so they separate it by day. They tell you what what to read in the textbook, what pages, and then what type of they tell you what to read in the textbook, what pages, and then they tell you the activity sheet to do. One of the first things I want to point out is that Abeka's table of contents. So Abeka does an intro and then they talk about insects, plants, birds, matter, energy, geology, oceanography, and astronomy in this science book. Within the health portion, you're going to talk about your body framework, the muscle builder, your breathing machine, personal hygiene, the healthier you. What I really wanted to note with about that is in the science portion where Becca is talking about things like oceanography, um, geology, weather, those materials are not included in God's Design for Life. That would be a different one of the God's Design series. I believe that would be the Heaven and Earth series for, um, for Master Books. So that is something to definitely take into account is that Abeka will touch on a more variety of subjects in their general science book, whereas for God's Design for Life, you are getting plants, human body, and animals. So there is a difference there, but that's only one of so many differences. <laughs> when you look at any given lesson for Abeka, you're going to have reading that takes about, well, this one takes, what, four pages. Then at the end, you'll have questions, and sometimes they'll also have an experiment, but not always. Sometimes they have you do something in your activity book. Sometimes there's an experiment. Sometimes it's just the um, answering the questions. So when you do God's Design for Life, you're not going to be reading nearly as much. For example, if I just pick a random lesson in God's Design for Life, this is on a vertebrate, I have my um, what I'm reading, then we have the experiments and then you have some more information if you want to take it further since this is for um, since this is for a wide variety of grades, they have the green areas where you can take it further. But you're not reading nearly as much. Master books is set up so that they are expecting you as the teacher, to really delve in, to bring in more information, to find out what your child is interested in and explore that. Now they do have some 
So that leads me to another really big difference between the two. For master books, you have your teacher's manual. So it's for grades three through eight, you have your teacher's manual. In your teacher's manual, you'll have worksheets that you can do. And then towards the end, there is also um, the quizzes and tests. Now the back of the manual has your answers. So the back of your manual has the answers for your quizzes and tests and then also for your worksheets. So that is um, a difference. Like I said, with a Becca, you have an answer to the text questions. You have your tests and quizzes. You have an answer guide for your tests and quizzes. You have your activity book. You have the answer guide for your activity book. So there's quite a few pieces um, with a Becca where Masterbooks has really put everything together in that teacher's manual for you. So I wanted to just compare what each curriculum is expecting a fourth grader to know. I randomly chose the ear and I think the reason I randomly chose the ear is because that's something that we've been studying. So, um, so for a Becca, for your quiz, they're expecting you to be able to identify each of these individual parts of the ear. Then if I looked at master books to see what they have included regarding the ear, this is the worksheet that goes with the day for the ear and they want you to do um, the do you hear what I hear worksheet, which is this worksheet. So it's all about the waves, the sound waves. And then for the challenge questions, because remember, this is for grades three through eight. So normally the challenge is for the older grades. So for the challenge questions, it says, read the text on page 193 of your student book. Describe to your teacher what you learned about how the ear functions in relation to balance and movement. So if I turn to page 193, here's what they're talking about. Well, here's the design of the ear with all of those different parts. But there is not a single place where Master Books is going to test you on this. So for Abeka, they're expecting you to memorize this, but not fully experience it. Whereas Master Books is expecting you to have the experiments and experience it, but not necessarily know the individual components of the ear. So if that makes sense, it seems like Master Books is much more wide, much more open-ended for the student to really be able to kind of glance over things that they're not so interested in, but giving time to really delve in to what they are interested in, whereas Abeka is much more of a standard traditional textbook of I'm presenting you the information and this is what you need to know. Um, something else that I want to point out is regarding to plants because remember master books there's three sections within the God's design for life the world of plants the human body and animals. So let's look at the world of plants because that's something that they're definitely focusing on. So Abeka, Abeka does have a section a chapter on plants and so chapter three, and it looks like there are 10 lessons on plants. So there are 10 lessons on plants. But then when I look at master books, so the world of plants, they're separated by units and then lessons within the units. So for plants, so for plants, you are looking at a total of 35 lessons on plants. So it's really dependent upon, so it's really kind of dependent upon what are your goals? What are your expectations? What, how do you wanna teach? Because if you want something that is really focusing on your child exploring and having time for these rabbit trails and being able to pull in other information, pull in some great DK books, pull in some more experiments and really have time within the curriculum to do that, then master books is definitely something to look into. But if you're more traditional and you want something where I know exactly what I'm supposed to do every day, it's 
all included here. I really just need to make sure that we read, we memorize the terms, we memorize the body parts, we are able to identify things, then you would really want to look a little bit more into a backup. Both of, the, both of these curriculum definitely have their pluses and minuses, right? It just depends on, are you a science person? Are you somebody who likes to go on tangents and likes to explore and think about and bring in other materials? Then master books is something to look into. But if you're somebody who really science isn't your thing, but you want your child to have a general knowledge of a wide array of subjects within science, then Abeka is something to really look into because again, you're going to cover, you're going to touch on more, you're going to touch on a larger variety of topics within Abeka because this is a general science, right? So you're going to hit weather, you're going to hit matter, you're going to hit energy, where you're not going to really do that with God's design for life. Now, I could have picked something else, right? I could have picked um, God's design, heaven and earth, where you are going to talk about, where you are going to talk about that weather and things like that, but that's a different book within master books. So I was trying to say one book with master books and then the, the Becca curriculum for fourth grade. So I know that this was a lot of information, which is normal, you know, normally I try not to put this much information in the video. I just wanted to make sure that I covered it well enough for you to understand the differences between master books and Abeka because there are quite a few and both of them are Christian viewpoint. Both of them focus on God. So you have that as a similarity. Both of them have tests and quizzes. Both of them have the worksheets. And so there's another similarity. Both of them have the questions at the end of each reading assignment. Again, a similarity. Both of them indicate in bold the terms that they want you to know. So there are those similarities, but there are quite a few differences as well. If you have any specific questions, please just comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it and I hope that you have a great day. Thank you so much.